Hello and welcome to Oracle Fusion Cloud Release 13 training for procurement. We are going to see how to create purchase orders from the requisitions that we created previously. To create a purchase order, click procurement, click purchase orders. Here we will see our purchasing overview. Buyer will be able to monitor various activities from these blocks. We call them infolets. These infolet provide statistical overview of the activities for the buyers. You can also hide the infolets and expand, maybe change the size of the infolet. If you want to get extra information, you can change the size of the infolet. You can also add more infolets and refresh the infolets. Now we will process the previously created purchase acquisition and create a purchase order from them. Click the task and click on the process requisition. We can search the requisition using various parameters. In case you want to create a requisition which is not assigned to you, you can remove the buyer field and search the requisition using the requisition number. Here we will see a lot of requisitions available from various requesters and we can use these requisitions to create a purchase order. When we select the purchase requisition, we'll be able to see three buttons available for us to work on. Add to document builder, return and reassign. Buyer can select the line and click return to ask additional information from the requester. In case the requisition belongs to another buyer, buyer can reassign the line to another buyer. Let's click Add to Document Builder. Here we can add this particular line to a new order. I can also add this line to an existing order where I can select existing order and select the order number. I can only select orders which are in incomplete status. To create a new order, add supplier details. Select the supplier and supplier site. Check the currency and click OK. We can also add multiple lines to the purchase order. All lines are available here. We can also click edit and remove the lines that we don't want. Or we can create the purchase order. The purchase order number is available here. Click OK. On this page, we will see general information, which is header of the PO, terms, notes and attachments, additional information, and lines with schedule and distribution. If we have supplier portal, we can use require acknowledgement and acknowledgement within days. We can default these to supplier level. We can also default payment terms, shipping methods, write terms and FOBs to the supplier. Similar to requisition, we also have a social icon here where we can uh, discuss about this purchase order with the various uh, users. We can also add note to supplier and note to receiver. Also, attach a header attachment to the PO. PO attachment can be line, text, and URL. Also, we can attach these attachments to various categories. For example, I am creating an attachment to supplier and this is a text attachment. I can also add additional information which are DFFs. If I have enabled DFF, I can also use them here. And my line details are available here. I can also add more columns. I'll be able to see a lot of information on this page. For example, ship to organization, request delivery date, location, requester's name, also project details. Click schedules. Here I will be able to maintain the line schedule. I can also split the schedules. Click distribution. Here I'll be able to add more columns and will be able to maintain the distribution of the PO. I can also split the distribution. Here I'll be able to see charge account, accrual account and variance account for this line. 
to see additional information in one page I can click on the pencil icon and I'll be able to see all the information in one page for this distribution line in case I want to rebuild the charge account just click the action button and click rebuild accounts similarly I'll be able to see the line details the same way I can add additional information like DFFs agreement detail and project number details also I can add line attachment and note to supplier at the line level for example I'm attaching a text attachment at the line level also adding a note to supplier for this particular line scroll up from the action menu I can create new line recalculate the price and rebuild the account click OK we can assign a procurement contract to this purchase order from the contract terms tab we can add an existing contract terms from manage approvals I will be able to see a list of people who are going to approve this purchase order on this page I can add note to approver and I can also see who all are going to approve here according to this page the purchase order will be auto approved we can save the purchase order or save and close or submit or cancel the PO we can take various action on this purchase order from the actions button in case you have made certain changes to distribution and you want to validate the changes just click action and validate if you want to duplicate the purchase order you can also use duplicate if the order status is in incomplete you can also delete the purchase order else you can cancel the purchase order we can also view the document history using the document history option here save and submit upon approval view will be communicated to the supplier based on the communication method that we select here if we choose supplier communication method equal to email and the contact person here we have has an email address assigned to him the PO will be communicated to that contact person if there is no email address available for the contact person we can assign an email address to the supplier site in the supplier form now the PO has been submitted for approval approvers of the PO will receive notification they can click on the bell icon and they will be able to see the notifications available to them for this PO we have an auto approval set so buyer and preparer of the requisition will receive a notification once PO is implemented from the work list we will be able to see all the notification assigned to us click on the notification title to open the notification this is an FYI notification so there are no action items available here but we can download the attachment from this notification a buyer can search and maintain existing purchase orders using manage purchase orders click on task and click on manage orders on this page we'll be able to search based on the various fields available here we can search by supplier buyer order number or acquisition or you can also add additional field using advanced search in release 13 there are new features available for searching you can also search now based on the keywords let's search now the purchase order that we just created for the supplier building material sorry building management search and now we have the purchase order available and the status is open infusion open status is equal to approved status so the purchase order number 1632.89 is now approved and it's in open status here I can search headers as well as schedules I can view the PO PDF and download it 
also I can print that PDF to my printer. I can take various actions using the action button. I can acknowledge the PO on behalf of supplier. I can communicate the PO. For print and fax, we have to do BI setups. You can also communicate in email in various languages. Action. We can check the document history, change order history, and revision history. Let's check the document history. The document history indicates the detail about the processes happen on this purchase order. So here we can see the order was submitted by Kelvin Roth. And when you click on the submit button, you will be able to see the approval hierarchy, the approval tree. Also, you'll be able to see the notification went to various people. Buyer has sent a notification for an approval and that notification is available. You can also see the view or purchase order, the approval comments and attachments. Click done. To check the change order history, let's create a change order for this purchase order. Click edit. Yes. Add a meaningful description about the change order. And we will make a small change in the purchase order line. This change detail will be available on the header of the change order where amount is changed by $10. We can also do various actions like validate, delete, cancel, review the changes, and also send. Uh, the order for approval. Click done. I'm searching the PO again from manage order screen. Now I will be able to see document revision version number one. Open the PO. Action. View change history. Now here we'll be able to see the action history. Here we'll be able to see change history of the PO. On this page, we can see all nine details that are changed. Click close and done. Click on the processes status. And here we will see the change order description. Click done. Now click action and check revision history of the PO.